Hello and welcome in this video here. My name is Andy Curran and in this video I want to talk about self-sabotage and why most humans sabotage their own success, happiness and freedom in life and how you can master self-sabotage and break through so that you can really achieve the goals that you have set for yourself, that you can manifest the results that you want to have in life and where you stop holding yourself back in life, okay? So no matter where you are in your life right now and no matter what you do, okay, you can be a CEO, leading a company, having employees, building your business, your company, or you can do some other thing, okay? Maybe you're a sportsman, you will have some goals that you want to achieve, some records that you want to break, or you're doing something completely else. No matter what you do, if you have a goal in your life, if you want to achieve something, did you never ask yourself why in most cases, you feel like something is holding you back to do that, you know, because you watched this video and I think you watched this video because you read the title and you actually have this feeling, you already have this feeling that something inside you is stopping your life to achieve the things that you really want to have, to get the results that you want to have. And you have this feeling that there's something inside you that is doing that and you don't understand why, okay? why you cannot go forward and just do it just get the results you want to have and most people suffer from that you know most people who want to achieve something and want to achieve their goals manifest something ask themselves why am i holding myself back maybe they're not asking themselves this in a conscious way maybe it's a limiting belief you know a belief that is deeply in their subconscious mind in your subconscious mind and you tell yourself subconsciously why can i never just do it why i'm always holding myself back okay and the thing that i learned and that i want to share with you and i learned this from one of my mentors or role models that i discovered in the last years his name is bob proctor i already mentioned him in one of my videos where i talked about the all is mind you know the principle of mentalism if you want to see this video i will link it here so you can watch this video um yeah and bob proctor is famous from the book the secret the movie the secret and he talks a lot about the mind universal principles the law of attraction and one thing that i learned from him that really helped me is that he said something like you are the only problem that you will ever have and you are the only solution that you will ever have or that you are looking for okay mostly if we go through life and most people that go through life if they don't achieve something if they don't really go forward you know where they are a leader in their life where they stand up and get going do something they mostly look for reasons in the outside world in the external world they think something from the outside is stopping them from going forward and achieving their, their dreams and goals. They blame other people, you know, maybe they blame their friends, their family, their, their co-workers, their job, you know, they blame different things and say, that's the reason why I cannot go forward in life. That's the reason why I don't achieve the results I want to have. That's the reason why my life is still as it is, okay? And this is a false belief. This is a lie that we tell ourselves because it's easy to blame circumstances. It's easy to blame other people. It's easy to look for a solution or a problem in the outside world. But the hardest truth, and I say truth, is that the, the solution that we are looking for is inside ourselves. It is us. It is you. You are your own solution. And you are the only thing that is holding yourself back. And that's why I talk about self-sabotage in this video. Okay? We are sabotaging our self in life. We are influencing ourself. And we manipulate ourself. It's a real manipulation that we do with ourself. We want to do something. We want to achieve something. And if we come close to doing something... We hold ourselves back. We stop. We don't do it. We procrastinate. We say we will do it tomorrow. 
You know, maybe you know it from yourself. You want to do something. And before you do it, you know, maybe there's just a few seconds. You're just a few seconds away from doing it instead of thinking about it. That's where you stop yourself and say, ah, I don't know. It's not the right time. It's not the right weather. I don't feel like it. Something from the outside world is distracting me. And we have all those reasons. And we tell ourselves those reasons. But subconsciously, there is something that is really holding us back. And this is a subconscious belief. The belief that we have subconsciously that we will never do it. You know, that we don't really believe it. And that we are sabotaging our own success, our own happiness and freedom in life. But there is a way, as Rob Proctor said, to break that pattern, to break that procrastination, to break that thing that holds you back. But to break that and to find a solution, you have to look within yourself and become more aware. Get the higher level of awareness. You have to understand who you really are. And this has to do with spirituality and with metaphysical things, with wisdom, you know? Because your ego will not allow you to understand how you are sabotaging yourself. Because your ego is holding you back. And to break free from this sabotaging and break free from those chains that you have put on yourself, you know, where you cannot move forward. For this you have to understand who you are and how you work. Especially how your mind works. Okay, that you have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. That you, you have thoughts and emotions. That you are a spiritual being having an intellect, having a mind and living in a body. Okay? And you have to really understand those higher concepts, you know, philosophical concepts in this case. And personal development alone will mostly not bring you ahead. It will not give you the solution that you're seeking because you have to go to a higher level to understand that. You know, you have to look at yourself from a complete other perspective to gain another view and to understand why you are holding yourself back. And I want to give you a little glimpse so that you understand, okay, what could hold me back? What is it really? If it's not the outside world, if it's inside of me, you know, what is there that is holding me back? And what Proctor talks about paradigms, okay? Paradigms and subconscious beliefs, subconscious programs that we have, a subconscious program how we think, how we feel, how we see the world, how we see ourselves. But I mean, with seeing ourselves here, I mean the identity that we have, our ego, our persona, our personality. And yeah, how we see ourselves and how we go through life. You know, and this subconscious program dictates our habits, the things that we do, the things that we believe are capable for us, that we can achieve, and things where we believe we cannot achieve. This has all something to do or this is connected with the paradigm you have, you know. I will not go in full detail in this video. I will make another video in the future about it. That's sure. I'm pretty sure that I will make a video about that. But in this video, I just wanted to give you a little introduction so that you understand, okay, there is something with a new called paradigm, a subconscious program, how you work, how you go through life, which habits you have, how you think which kind of beliefs you have, you know, and this is really holding yourself back. So wh whenever you want to do something and create a new reality for you, manifest new results in your life, you have to understand that there is an old program running in you. Since your childhood, you have developed this program because people influenced you on your way where you become an adult, your parents, the school, the kindergarten, if you studied, if you had a job, you know, family, friends, and society, you know, the things you have watched, the movies you have watched, media, entertainment, all these things have shaped your identity and your subconscious program, your paradigm, your, your world view, how you look at the world, okay? And 
the solution is that you have to understand how this paradigm works within you and how you can create a new paradigm and shift your paradigm from the old program to a new program, to a new paradigm and a new worldview where you are not holding yourself back because you, you believe that you can achieve those things, where you have new habits, you know, a new perspective, a new identity, okay? You cannot create a new reality if you have the same identity that created the old reality. You have to create something new. You can only create a new reality with a new identity, with a new paradigm and a complete new perspective and awareness. And you have to be conscious about that, okay? So self-sabotage is something that a lot of people deal with when they feel like, why am I holding myself back? You know, you want to start something, you want to do something, maybe you have a goal, you want to make a diet, you want to start that business, you know, you want to achieve those goals that you have on the vision board, you know, in your notepad, wherever. But then before you do it, you're close to doing it and then you stop yourself, you hold yourself back again, you know. It's like a manipulation and you don't know that something is controlling you. You don't, you don't even know where it comes from if you don't have this awareness. First, you have to be aware of yourself, that you have a paradigm, that you have a specific program, a subconscious program with beliefs that you have. And you have to break those beliefs and create new beliefs, okay? Create a new identity in order to manifest new results and overcome the self-sabotage, to overcome this procrastination that holds you back from achieving the things that you really want to have in your life, to be free in your life, to master yourself, to live a life of purpose and happiness and of success. So the first step is always, and that's what I always say, wisdom begins with knowing yourself. To know yourself is the beginning of all wisdom, that's what the old Greek philosopher said, like Aristotle, like Socrates. You have to know yourself first. And I don't mean your name. I don't mean the car you drive, the job title you have. I mean behind all those titles, you know, and things, labels that you have. Something that you cannot really grasp. Something that is not really physical. Something that is more spiritual. Okay? have to understand that you create your own reality. And the reality that you have right now, that's what you have created, okay? This was my video about self-sabotage. So I told you why most people cannot really go forward that something is holding them back and how you can break free from that, okay? I'm pretty curious what you think about this topic and how this video maybe helped you. And if you wanna see more videos like that, then give me a thumbs up for this video so I know that this video helped you, at least in some way. You can also write down a comment and share with me your thoughts. What do you think about that? You know, are you sabotaging your own success? Are you holding yourself back in life? And do you understand what a paradigm is? Did you ever hear about that? I'm pretty curious. Let me know what you think about that. So this was my video for today. I hope it was helpful for you. If you want to have more videos like that, then subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date when I release a new video. And yeah, that's it for now. I wish you all the best. My name is Andy Kern, and yeah, see you soon. Bye.